All right, I wanted to check this out once and for all, and Yukoto's Guile, the rune, was apparently dropped by the boss, like, in this form. So we're not using the boss soul system where you, like, get an item that you have to spend one way or another and choose how it's formed. I just already have this relic in this form. It just already exists. And it's just that you have to uh, spend 10,000 uh, scoria to use it, just like the other items. That's about it. Like you, so the, I guess the idea is that I have all of these, as opposed to that I'm crafting them or anything, and so I'm spending to I'm spending scoria to equip them. That's the idea, at the moment. Hunt the lone Einar whereabouts? Yeah, next zone. It keeps saying journey updated, but it just it just says no journey available. That is not really an update. Where is Isla? Just hanging out like way out here. Oh, they're they're setting up a dock. We really are rebuilding this area. It's kind of neat. Enemies dead. The way home is open. Fun than a wet fish in a pot full of eyeballs. What? That crimson gourd of yours is pretty sweet. But I can make it even sweeter. Come to me, table, and I'll see about making this sap more potent. Oh, a new upgrade. Also, a bunch of other new things. Whoa. Okay. So I have one character that can increase my charges and one that can make it more powerful. So it's, we're, it's almost exactly the Dark Souls 2 system of uh, flasks, except they're both upgrades you, you pay for as opposed to collectibles you find. Potency. Oh yeah, go from 75 to 104. Let's do that. And now I can't afford it. How far off are we? Not far enough off. I could just spend one of those little things and we'll be there. Shops of this town you're setting up. Reckon I'll stick around for a bit. Before I get too comfy, though, there's something I need to sort out. The pass to the Whispers is open, but my tribe still haven't come through. There was meant to be an escape, but I reckon it got trampled by those listener thugs again. Garoron's kin, see? They got my tribe wrapped up tight in their chains. We've got to find Granny Nella and ask her what happened. She'll be in Hillside... somewhere. Granny Nella might fart like a Romar, but she's got plenty of smarts in that old noggin. She foresaw Garon's mischief, and she'll have foreseen whatever's happening now, too. Let's go find Granny Nella. She'll nose the nose, and how to put it right. Chances are she'll be in the hills above the Whispers, picking herbs and shrooms. Okay. She is the lord of the farts, evidently. Yeah, I know. I'm squinting. Can't help it. But I'd, I'd rather be squinting than stumbling about in the dark. Ooh. Those are the new items that were shown a moment ago in the corner of the screen. Fire kelp. What? Why? <laughs> the the cost is 150 scoria and a sapote, and it gives you negative 30 health. Why? Speckled mushroom. Oh, you turn the you okay? You turn them into mushrooms, which heal you twice as much as a sapote, but over the course of 10 seconds is what I'm getting from that description. Fire kelp. The spiny and blistering seaweed is incorrectly believed by some to protect against skag spit. Few know of a safe way to prepare the kelp to be eaten, and most who try do not survive the experience. Granny Nella chews on fire kelp with her nethers when her nethers get a bit backed up. Isla. Oh boy. Yeah, it'll just hurt you. 
But you can make this out of it. Evidently. Hmm. Yeah, it's double the healing. But this is double double the healing, so before the light. I didn't bother him. Wait, I've already covered that before. Let's go get me some more cells. I actually kind of can't get over how much I do want to slide down every slope I encounter now because of Apex making it feel good to do that. Ah, I always pressed the wrong button. And then I'm like, then I'm stuck like equipping it or something. I think that's enough, but I might as well just take the stack with me. Get that double up upgrade going. Went the wrong way. Next up is six thousand. Also, not a really, not really an unobtainable amount. But I'm not going to be able to get that from uh, this stack. We'll just go adventure in some more. Let's see. What did I upgrade it to? Yeah, I don't need to upgrade this anymore. Even if I like, I could farm for it, but who cares? It currently heals 133 out of my total of 149 health. I basically have to be on the tiny last pixel before death in order for that to not- in order, in order for that to not fully heal me. Neat. I've got a better throwing weapon, I've got a better axe, I've got a better healing item. Things are coming up Millhouse. So hillside's down- yeah. Everything's pointing to the bottom zone except Amara who nothing is going to happen with but there clearly is a progress meter for her it's interesting for them to show me how close i am to finishing each one like this guy apparently has one quest left and then it's just going to be over i guess fast travels in this game now that's good news Yeah, there. There's, yeah, there's still so many of those guys. So they they don't all face that one relic at the very least because they're all face, they're all facing south now. Whereas the thing was to my north. Now here's one of the opportunities where I can slide. Listener's Ridge. seems to be a zone where there's just lots of opportunities to kind of fall down a pit and be attacked. What are those guys? Like a new dog variant? They look... Yeah, they're glowy. What's your deal? Medium stash. We're finally making some progress here. Hey there. Oh. Ooh. And melted. That's a lot. Uh, I'm hoping they all don't become aggro immediate. Are they all hostile? Uh oh. Oh, they're all hostile. Okay. Yeah, they're also, a lot of them are also pretty not durable, as it turns out. Hey, that guy's using the same axe as me. Who wore it better, huh? The answer's me, because they're dead. Wow. Right, that was a thing before. Loot a skeleton. Loot a skeleton. Skeleton explodes. What? Your uh, your skeleton doesn't violently explode when somebody lightly touches it. Oh god. 
Oh, these poor villagers are not getting stronger. I feel bad. Ow. I wouldn't attack them if they weren't making me. But these ba these guys, won't, they just don't get it. Oh my god, they even only give you one Scoria. Just to cement how, like, pointless this, this violence is. They don't even good- they don't even give the good loots. Time-worn spear. It's better than a Prophet Standard. I just got the Prophet Standard and there's already a better spear. Nicely balanced for throwing range and speed, the spear remains sturdy and practical. I'd t- I'd take reliability over pretty anytime, Vorsa. All right, immediately got a better spear before even getting a chance to use my other new spear. <laughs> Go figure. Yeah, that's that's my axe. Ow. Ah, that's a risky move. You do not get to recover in time. <gasps> oh. Oh, you made the... Okay. Oh, fire cup's just gonna be common now, huh? Oh, when I charged it up, it doesn't make a cool explosion. Rip off. Oh. They die fast faster than I can attack them. Oh well. Big mistakes. I really gotta lock on more. I have a bad tendency to assume enemies are totally going to die when I attack them. When they very much do not die. And the doing unexpectedly low amounts of health damage will is more apparent if I actually lock on because I can see their health. Ooh, you're a powerful little squad, aren't you? Yeah, they're glowy dogs. Definitely sort of gives off the impression of like a quarry. I think natural weathering would be more curved. It wouldn't be such perfectly straight sheer walls, so it's probably carved by the humans. Either because it's a quarry, and they're collecting resources, or it's a... Some kind of fortress or intentional landscape. Or a wall? Hey, glow dogs. What's your deal, huh? Hey, he's back. The big guy. Is it also dying of the infection? Its back looks like it might be covered in chunks of... rock. Flop. Doesn't even bother with legs, it just pfft, onto the ground. Alright, we're building up to something there. Oh, I see item. I take item. Taunting me with these spearheads that I can use to buy to make a weapon that's weaker than what everyone else 
and then weaker than what I can find in the zone. You still hanging out? Yeah, still hanging out. Ah, it's not the dead end it looked like from the, from above. It's, it's just a, a felled stone. It's kind of it, overlying the path. Ah, that's the lone Einar. It's right down there. I better keep an eye out. Oh, we're under attack. Did you guys respawn? I just- I just killed two Einar right here. Oop. Good dodge. Sorry. Oh, you have an item. I was wondering why he wasn't going away. Whoa, they're just coming back. Has the stones- is this supposed to be plot related? Or not? Like, I'm kind of wondering if, like, the glowy stones are making them immortal. You would think the minerals would just be minerals. And not be related to the biological components, but these guys... Their crystals stop glowing when they're dead. As if they're powered by... Or in somehow indicative of the survival of the creature. Weird. Well, we gotta be careful because water likes to drown me. Not very nice of water to try to drown me all the time. <gasps> there we go. Wait, is this water not deep? No, it becomes deep. Okay. Oh, there's the lone Einar. Oh, he's a big one. And he's got little ones guarding around. Hey. You gonna- we're gonna do this? Oh, yeah. So he's not infected. Ow. <laughs> okay, uh, companion? Oh, no. Did my creative pathing... Lead to a loss of companion. Uh oh. Can any of them path up here? Oh, that's a lot of them to fight at once. Oh yeah. I've got a tool for this. Oopsie. even doing any good? Oh yeah, it is. It's also missing. Good job, me. Ooh. He doesn't like this. I know, right? Surprise. Who would be bothered by being repeatedly speared? Oh my god, it breathes the naughty. It breathes out. There we go. Nope, no more assistance for you. One on one. Are you armored or blindfolded? What's going on here? Hound's tail. I don't know what was going on there. It seemed to be blindfolded or armored on its face, and only its face, which is even weirder. Hound's tail. Once tamed by ancient Lotharians as hunting companions, the hounds fled into the darkness when Lotharis fell. Lotharian hounds thrive in both darkness and light, finding easy prey in deer and even the occasional vagrant. What a delight to discover our loyal hounds still still prosper. Perhaps I can persuade Vorsa to find me some pups to raise. Amara. 
That's one down. That's pretty nearby. And it's going to loop back around to where I started. Because there was a ledge over there that was clearly, clearly, clearly going to do that. Hey, a feather. Every little bit counts. Can I have my ally back now? Whoa. What happened there? I've never seen- I've never noticed that before, I don't think. I just saw my health flicker green. Run, bunny, run! Their ears are just nightmarishly huge. Yeah, it looks... It looks like bricks to me. I'm not sure what to make of this zone. There might have just been a ton of walls around here, but maybe there's like something marshy or unstable about the land or something. Maybe they started sinking. I don't know, I'm just spitballing here. Because it seems like giant battlements and f like fortress walls were everywhere and then they like sank into the earth and leaned in these weird directions and settled. Maybe a very, very long time ago. There we go. There's Helm's Deep. And there's our buddy. I assume, I don't know. I like his kid, maybe he's a dick. Really graceful menu navigation on my part. Hey! Best buddy! Screw you. Dead. Yeah, they're, they're really giving me these spears. Feather. Hey, I see a feather. Should not be hard to get back down. Or get back up that ledge I just climbed. I don't like... Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me, I said. Wow. This area is dense with things I don't like. And one thing I do... Ow. Ow. You need to cut that out. I think that's the main thing. Get a stamina upgrade. And then GTFO. Not big on fighting those guys. They spew damaging acid when you attack them at all. On top of using it as a ranged attack. There's also a bunch of them at once. And they got that weird smacky arm they use. It's got some range to it. Just all around unpleasant. No, thank you, sir. This might be my favorite zone to look at so far. Really neat. Let's get me a checkpoint so my friends can come back. Oh, they're hunting in the wild like we heard about. I'm just going to take these mushrooms if you don't mind. I mean, if he's going to hunt for me, I'll take it. They have a projectile attack! Oh, you can hear it breathing from here. It straight up is like they're like... This zone has crystal dragon wolves in it. Oh, wow, where did you... Oh, you're my friend. Okay. I was a little worried. I was worried, like, where did you come from? Leave me alone. So this should loop back to the beginning of the zone. And there's something we need from here. Granny Nella. 
Are you guys all gonna attack? Right. Right, because I was confused because we're trying to find her tribe, but I think she said her tribe are basically slaves. So these, this, these are the guys that are capturing her tribe, which she said... She was making a point to say that her tribe's trying to escape through that place. So she's from down here. And this is the slaver tribe that's that's controlling her people. But those people seem like they're the slaves and they attack me on sight, which is kind of a bummer. Excuse me. Bye bye. I'll see you guys later. Checkpoint. There they go hunting again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, buddy. Ah. Wildlife's getting chaotic right now. Leave me alone. Wow. We're just stocking up on these, huh? Really regret paying for the other one now. <laughs> Could this be the item? The Guardian's Bludgeon. Yeah, this is a dead end. I mean, it's not a dead end specifically. I was looking for- I was looking out for the spot that where it would connect back to the beginning, and, and I thought we were there, but I don't see a ledge yet. Hey there. Hey, buddy. I'm safe, I think. Hey. How you doing? I mean, I'm here now. I could go turn in my thing. Yeah. If I'm already here, I might as well, I guess. It makes sense. Because, uh... This other person's quest doesn't- don't necessarily involve me actually... ...making return trips. As far as I could tell from, that hound had no obvious signs of illness. Please, give me the tail so I can sample its fluids. See what's going on there. The tail's sinews are strong. Its blood is vital. And its secretions are... pungent. Time to sharpen the boning knife and stoke the fire. This should be interesting. If you're easily lost, use landmarks to mark your way. That way, even as you circle, you can find where you wish to be. I was startled when the mountain exploded. Bataran didn't think to warn me. Sometimes even a listener man is still a man. I was startled when the mountain exploded. Bataran didn't think to warn me. Is that the end of that? No, not yet. This, whatever the next journey is, it's just not time yet, evidently. Keep an eye out for that. We got something new. So I, I saw my my health flicker green again. So it's just whenever you up, whenever you increase your maximum health, it flickers green. You gain the ability to open doors reversed, reserved for companions on your own. No, I'd rather not. 10% stamina regen. Hello. What do I have right now? Oh, my health bar was getting bigger as I went away from Vagrant's Rest. I was I crossed over the threshold, so my he my health flickered green for a second there because it got bigger. I gained more maximum health. That's interesting. Hmm. I mean, it's probably better than two percent than two percent health. I 
have to unequip a talisman manually first. We'll unequip Vigor and equip Respite. There we go. Hmm. I was curious whether it would cost me again. Still gotta get to that 10 grand.